so here we are again everyone a week later it's seven days and this is pot number one that had the yogurt in it so let's see what we've got here there we go hmm can you see in there lots of mold up the sides of the pot and this was just all the yogurt there's a couple little ants in there a bit of dirt let's see um it's already started to turn over now see how dry that's become now as all the moisture from the yogurt has left um left the pot there's lots of little bugs in there but I can't see any soldier flies in there and yesterday I definitely saw a soldier fly buzzing around one of the pots so they are still in the environment but there's none in this pot so they're obviously not attracted just to yogurt on its own but if you put a bit of meat in there they'd be attracted to it like bees to a honey pot so that's just decomposing away but you can see there's a little bit of mold in there but nothing spreading around the garden as such, no mycelium. So I'm not quite sure what happened in that lady's garden. Anyway, we'll put this back on and leave that for another day. And you can see this is a lovely experiment because nothing had touched that all week. So on to the next pot. So this is very interesting everyone, this is pot number two and you can see that it's not in the ground and it's never ever been in the ground properly because I couldn't get it in because of all the big roots under there and you can see this had all the fresh stuff in it, I'll have to go back and look at, that's right this had the tomatoes and it had a bit of onion in there and a few other little goodies and what's happened is that the bush turkeys have got here so me telling you that the bush turkeys had disappeared not so I found five in the yard the other day so because this has all got fresh contents in it they could smell that so they dug around it so I'm just going to repack up around there and this is not ideal for keeping your bush turkeys out you really need the pot in the ground level with the ground I couldn't do it in this instance so it's a good test um, and I saw soldier flies buzzing around this yesterday, which is very unusual this time of year. So I'm guessing that there might be some nice little babies coming in there soon. But you can see in a week, this hasn't done a lot. There are a few ants in there. There's a few little tiny cockies. They're all part of the decomposition process. But not much has happened in there in that week. It has gone down a bit, definitely. What is interesting, though, is I remember reading a book years ago called my place by sally morgan beautiful book and they used to talk about putting onions around their house to keep the ants away so i wonder if putting the onion in here is keeping the ants away it's not keeping the cockies away but that's okay they're just little ground cockies but there's not a lot of ants in here compared to pot number five that we saw last week and i'm not sure that that onion technique works because there's an ant on there right now but it's certainly not infested with onions and it could be. So that's pot number two, nothing much has happened in a week. And again, if that waste had been soaked in some water, I think that'd be a lot further down the track in the decomposition process. So, oh, look at the stuff the bush turkeys have dug up. Bits of um, bottle, this is from the old tenants that used to put all the glass in the ground. And there's another piece. Anyway, they're doing me a good service digging it up. So I'll put some more leaves on the top of that. And this obviously isn't going to keep them out while those fresh contents are in there. And if they hear those soldier flies in there, they'll come back because that's really good protein for them. So let's have a look at pot number three now. So here we are, pot number three. Same issue, the turkeys have dug around it because it's not in the ground. It should be level with the ground. That's a much better solution. There's a little lizard. He's managed to find his way in there. So I'll just get him out. Whoops, 
Come on, little fella. How'd you go? There he goes. There he goes. Um, now I'll have to go and look at my list and see what was in here, but we did have a few leaves on top of there from last time. Me cleaning my tool out. Oh, that's right. So there's some the sate and the peanut um, sorry the peanut sauce and the yolk, oh, sorry the sour cream but that has decomposed down a bit lot quicker than the other oh no it hasn't really no so again it's a little bit slow this time of year because we're coming into winter but hopefully those soldier flies found that pot also yesterday and I don't, oh, there's a soldier fly in there. Look, there we go. So they have, look at that. So one's in there, that's fantastic. And that should start disappearing quickly now. But again, if I'd added water to that, that would be, oh, there's a whole bunch of them on here. Better put them back inside. Yeah, they're good little guys. So again, if this was in the ground properly, we wouldn't have quite that problem with the bush turkeys. And I'll get some more grass clippings for this one as well. And this at the moment is basically um, just to keep the neighbours happy if there's any smell. But there actually is no smell. So we'll go and have a look at the other two in the corner now. So there's two pots here. Here's one right down here. This was my, pot number five. But let's go and have a look at pot number four first, which is just up the back here. And you can see the bush turkey has had a little bit of a pick around it as well. It's dug a little, it's made a bit of a mess. And here's a little comfrey tree that I just planted the other day that I'm going to show you a video on. And the bush turkey's had a little bit of a munch away at that as well but it hasn't destroyed it completely, which is good. So we'll just leave it there and I'll give it some water today. But coming back down to our pot. Now, what this pot had in it, what did it have? Hmm. So this is full of ants, which is really interesting. Oh, not massive, bad. And this is something I've never ever noticed before with my pots. So let's have a look. Now this was all the muesli bars. A bit of paper towel. This had some of the kitchen waste in it as well. And you can see it started to go mouldy. And the kitchen waste had some water in it. Some paper there. Oh, that's hot too. Very nice and warm in there. Which is probably a bit too hot for the soldier flies. So you can see the contents down the bottom. Oh, look at that. I've got a plastic bag with some um, lemon. So let's remove that bit of plastic. Hmm. Oh, that's warm. Very warm. So that's really creating quite a bit of heat in there, which is uh, interesting to notice. That's all going mouldy. That's really good. That's the start of the decomposition process. Can't see. Oh, there's some soldier flies. There's a little one there. That could quite possibly be a maggot too. But, oh no, there looks like there's a few in there. So we might be lucky. That might start decomposing a lot quicker now. And this was very, very dry content. So that water that was put in here from the waste would have helped soften those contents a bit. But again, ideally, I should have soaked them for a couple of days. So you can see in one week, not a whole lot has happened, but the decomposition process has started. And we'll come back and have a look at these pots again in another five or seven days and see where we are. And again, we'll just throw this over the top. And let's hope that bush turkey doesn't come back. But you can see he didn't dig that one up as much as he did the other ones, which were much more accessible. There's a bit of a, a nut, we don't want that out. 
Now let's have a look at number five, which was our problem one with the ants. Now there's some quite big ants on this one, which compared to the other one, number pot number two, only had little tiny ants. So these are big ants. But let's just ignore them. This is my one with the broken net. Oh, the lid's been pushed in again. Doesn't matter. Let's empty that out. And all that, see how that lovely, all that um, grass clippings on the top is decomposed in there, but look how beautiful and moist that is. And that's all good. Nothing much in there. Ah, now, what did we have in this one? Gee, I can't remember, but look at those writhing little soldier flies. So they've got into this one, for some reason, a lot quicker than the other ones. Isn't that interesting? So look at that, full of them. So they're definitely still around this time of year, but even though it's been quite cool, which I find really interesting. So I'll have to go back and have a look at what I put in this one. I should have checked that before I did the video. This one had all the old, that's right, this had all the flour in it and the Gatorade and um, a lot of the dry stuff. There's a, a lime that they're eating. Look at that. Mind you, it's got lots of other goodies on there mixed in with it. But those ants are having a bit of a field day still, but they're not deep down there in the soil. They just tend to be on the surface. Oh, there's a little cocky. Look at that. I will leave him alone. So that's actually really good that those soldier flies are in there and we'll see what happens with that one over the next um, week and see if that disappears quicker than the other ones because it's obviously got more bugs in there than the other pots have. And I could probably take some of those bugs out and put them in the yogurt one and the other pots but I don't want to do that for this experiment. I just want to let them look after themselves which is what I would normally do. I normally wouldn't do anything, I'd just rotate filling them. You can see this lid's one of my old lids and it's really broken, but it doesn't matter. I'll just push that down. But they were able to get in there. We had a lot of grass clippings on top of here and those soldier flies were able to find their way in there. So there we go, and that one had not been touched at all by the bush turkeys. Now isn't that interesting? Well, it looks like my cat didn't get all the bush turkeys this year. Thanks for watching.